Right, so what I've rigged up here is a pole on a frame like this to act as an assistance or for me to put weight through. So when I'm doing my standard one-legged ball squat, so in the next stage of the program you're doing one-legged ball squats like that, in this stage what you need is a bit of assistance. So you need to be as close to that bar as you can. Now at home this could be actually be a bench top if you want, but in the gym if you can rig something like this so you can put weight through, that's sturdy, then that works really well. So, in a one leg ball squat, okay, we're working your outer leg, I'm working the quads, hammies, glutes. The, the lateral load of me bending here is going to work me hard, really heaps on this side, okay, my gluteus, meas, my minutes to control that. I've got to make sure my knees are even, so when I go into a squat, I don't drop down. So they've got to be even, which keeps my hips even. Right? And this whole thing is trying to learn how to weight bear and increase my strength on, and stability on one leg. Now, when you're in weeks three and four, this is too much load usually for the knee, so let's deload it. So when you go down into a squat, you put weight with the upper body through the pole. So when you push up, your leg doesn't have to do as much work. I'm still doing the same amount of work here for this side, but I'm taking the load out of the knee joint and the patellofemoral joint which is what you need at this sort of stage. So when you come down, weight down through here as much as you need, and then when you push up, push through the bar as you straighten up and extend, right? which gives you that full movement through the knee, full movement through the hip, without fear or without pain coming through the knee. Builds up some of that movement pattern up here, so when you go to the next stage and build up a little bit more strength, you can do it by yourself without some assistance. It's a really good way of loading up and pushing through, okay, and getting that single leg knee movement absolutely correct, so you can progress on to the next stage without doing it wrong. So that's the 20 exercises over the course of those weeks, three and four, it's a lot. You can click on the link in our bio, go to the patellofemoral 12 week program, go to the weeks three and four, have a look at the free weeks, okay, see the whole rundown of the exercises and all the little exercises and videos that we've gone through, check it out, good luck.